Good morning. God bless you. This is Trina. What up, Trina? What's going down? Nothing. And Dawn is here. I just wanted to tell you that um, you know that your fault that when you call the um the prayer line that is charging people, and some people can't get through. The only reason why I got through is because um I paid for extra minutes. Is it true? They charging oh. people to call. They're charging on your phone? Uh, yeah, like when you call your number, if if you don't have the um the shared minutes, it won't let you get through. Oh, wow. Okay, that's important to know. Yeah, that's why um I had to change. Uh, well, they changed my number so now people could get through on my on the Jesus line. But when I was just calling, it said that... um. It was taking my minutes that I had because um, I had purchased it because the other number that I had for the Jesus line, it wouldn't let me go through. So a lot of people, whatever phone company they they have, is not going to allow them to come through or it'll charge them a dollar. Wow. No, okay, depending on the... Uh, the phone rate. carry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't have that problem. How's your morning going? Excuse me? How's your morning? How's I going? am blessed. Today is my birthday. I thank God oh, to see another birthday. year. And I'm telling you, thank you so much, Judy. It's, it's, it's truly a blessing. And um, I I didn't even know about y'all prayer line. The, the Sister Denise, she texted me and said she was coming on. So I said, oh, wow, let me get on. So we're going to start praying on about the next few minutes, yes. Five, yeah, few minutes, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I know it's the holidays and people are wrapped up in so. us. <laughs> Listen, to God is first. Like yesterday, we still had the Jesus line, and, you know, it was just about letting people know what you're thankful for. So, you know, I, I yes, we still have things, but, see, I put God first in my life. Amen. I enjoy, I enjoy having fun. And all of that, no, you know, but God is first in my life, so it, it it doesn't take long to come on the line. You could, and the good thing about this line right here is that you could be wherever and still call. Call in, yes. You could be in your car, you know. Mm-hmm. And prayer is important. And just for the record, I'm ready for um. Y'all function in December. Oh, wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. You've been posting it? Yes, You've I've been telling people. people. I have, um, um, I've been telling a lot of people. So. Uh, Thank you. We look forward You're to welcome. seeing you. Um, okay, see, Denise just called, Denise just texted me. She can't get on either. Get she on. said, I get a recording saying call can't be completed. Wow. Yes, so it's um, based on their phone, their phone yes. service. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll have to think about a way to get around that because I don't want anybody to feel limited, you know. Um, yeah, I'll tell you, I had to, well, even my friend, she can't even get on my number now. She could get on the old one, and I couldn't get on the old one. But the thing is, they have this um, app. It's called Sideline. 
And I tell people, get that app. It's free. And then you could call the number. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this morning, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for allowing us to wake up a day after Thanksgiving, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as we came around our family and friends. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and celebrated family and friends, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. We just want to celebrate you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, yes. for everything that you've done yesterday, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and everything you've done before yesterday, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for allowing us to go to South Carolina, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, because we didn't have to, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, if you didn't allow it, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Everybody who's lost a loved one, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we want to pray that you cover us, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as we celebrate Thanksgiving without them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. But still give thanks, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you are taking care of them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as well as us in different atmospheres, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. We just want you to know, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that faith without works is dead, so we have faith in you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as we work on earth, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, in order to get close to you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that the thanks that everybody gives first is you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for we can't do it without you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I want to pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you cover marriages, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for allowing us to do the documentary, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for 2017, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. For you didn't have to give us the go, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, to do this, Heavenly Father, for the names that we have, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. And I pray what I've been praying, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that more people with names, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that have an effect on the community, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, will come about going and showing interest, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for what we're trying to do within this world, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you for allowing Trina to call the prayer line, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. And I pray that you cover her, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray for her prayer line to grow, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray that whatever she has within her dreams and visions for you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you bring about, about prosperity, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for Judy, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Whatever you have in mind for her, I pray that it prospers, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, within your name, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray for every dream, every vision, every aspiration that I have, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as we all come together as one, Heavenly Father, so that the Holy Spirit can show up, Heavenly Father, because the Bible says, Two or more that's gathered, the Holy Spirit shows up, and we know that you're here. As I'm praying, I'm feeling you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I'm having strength, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as we walk about, Heavenly yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, going in the doors, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, going in the car doors, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, going in the restaurants, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, going in the churches, that you show up, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for the all red party covered by the blood, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. The numbers come out the woodworks, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. For they see what we're doing, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray that those that wouldn't even imagine themselves going into a Christian atmosphere, into a bar, would be the Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So that they can come to your name, Heavenly Father, and come within your will, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name for the things that we do outside of the church, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So I pray that you bless all of us online, Heavenly Father. For we know, Heavenly Father, that people are wrapped within the world, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and sleep, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and and thanking other things other than you, Heavenly Father, or maybe they're thanking within themselves, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So they don't want to come on the prayer line, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for they want to see what's on the news, Heavenly Father, with Donald Trump, Heavenly Father, for they want to see or talk about on social media football, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, 
or what happened with the Cowboys and Redskins, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, or they just want to curse somebody out, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. For I want to protect them, Heavenly So I pray to you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you cover them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. You put a drop on them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Put a drop on all, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. And say, apply to me. Put me first. And all your needs will be added, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for the text message I got. I pray that you cover that person's spirit, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for they're trapped up within the world, Heavenly Father, going back and forth with you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I want to pray for that person, for you know, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, who is, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Maybe they had a bad morning, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. But they only need a prayer, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So we're all here to pray for them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you cover the kids, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as they're in school, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and seeing all the different influences, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray that you cover them by the blood, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray to you as we say to you, amen. Yes, amen. 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 Good Amen. morning, everybody. I just going to read our scripture. Uh, it's from Colossians three seventeen. Whatever you do, no matter what it is, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. and in dependence on Him, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. This morning, I just want to begin our prayer. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, but every day, as we know, the mercies are new, the grace are new, his loving kindness is new. Every day we give thanks. So, dear Heavenly Father, I thought I'd begin my prayer with thanking you, Lord, for all the manifold mercies and blessings we have received, Lord. We've reached another holiday season, Lord. Some of us have not made it to this holiday season. And so we're thankful that we're still in the land of the living and can praise you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for health and strength, Lord, that we got up this morning, that we could move about, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we thank you for every blessing that you've given us through family, friends, the food, Lord, the fellowship that we had yesterday. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for those in our lives, the ones that are making a difference, that are pushing us forward, that are ha- have our back, Lord, that are our support system, our network, our, our life network system, Lord, that we thank you for those people who are forever encouraging us, Lord, who are forever giving us support and strength, who stand against those who come against us, Lord, and let us know that we're loved and we're protected because we have them in our lives. So, Lord, I want to thank you for those people out there who always have our back, Heavenly Father. So we just want to bless you for them, Lord. <clears throat> thank you and ask you to bless them in their lives. Protect them, Lord, for their giving spirit and their giving heart. Dear Heavenly Father, we have someone on the line, it's her birthday, Lord. So we we always have to give a special thank you for reaching another milestone, another birthday. We thank you for the year, Lord. I'm not sure how the year went for her, but she is still here, Heavenly Father, looking forward to the next year. And so we thank you for this birthday, Heavenly Father. We thank you that she's able to say yes and amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for those who are calling in. We thank you for them getting up this morning. I know it's not easy. I just read people are talking about, I'm sneaking to the kitchen. But, Heavenly Father, there are those who have picked up the phone, who have thought it nothing wrong to call in and breathe a word of prayer this morning. We thank you for those who have done it. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to, again, yes, let's pray for the children. There's so many children out here that are flotsam and jetsam. They're going here and there. They're not sure who's there for them, who's protecting them. But we know, Heavenly Father, that you said, suffer the little children to come unto me. And so I bring them to you this morning. Cover their little hearts and minds, Lord. Allow no enemy to sneak in and make them feel that they're not wanted or not loved. Watch over their steps as they go to school, Lord. 
keep them har- no harm and danger come nigh them. Keep the bullies from them, Heavenly Father. Make mm-hmm. their teachers help, be able to yes. understand them and support their education, Lord. We cover mm-hmm. them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. These innocent ones, Lord, that you gave your life for, Heavenly Father. Watch over them in their sleep, Lord. Watch over them in their play. Watch over them in their work, Heavenly Father. We thank you for them, for the children. Whether they're little ones or they're grown ones, whether they're near or far, my son is far away in California. I watch over him and pray for over, over him every day. And I thank you that where I cannot be, you are always there, covering him, Lord, protecting him and keeping him from hurt, harm, and danger out in California. Dear Heavenly Father, for those who need healing, I saw someone this morning who was asking for prayer for the pain. I'm not sure the nature and purpose, the source of the pain, Lord, but I know that you would not allow somebody to go through this alone. So I told her that I would lift up her name to Myra Elise. I would lift her up this morning in prayer. Touch her body, Heavenly Father. Whatever it is that we may not understand, you know you made that child. Go ahead and touch her body thus you can restore her health and strength in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that you are more than able You are more than willing, Heavenly Father. Continue to strengthen her, Lord. She got depressed over the Thanksgiving holiday. She was in so much pain, Lord. And so, therefore, Heavenly Father, lift her spirit, lift her and comfort her, Lord, and encourage her, but then heal her of this pain. Bring whoever it is that's supposed to be in her life, doctor, specialist, I don't know who it is, but relieve her of this pain, Heavenly Father, in your mighty name. Dear Heavenly Father, as we start this weekend, we always do this Friday prayer to cover prayer uh, of protection over everyone as they go about. If they're traveling, Lord, give them traveling mercies, Heavenly Father. Take them to and from their destinations, Lord, safely without hurt, harm, and danger on these roads, Heavenly Father. I also want to pray for those families in Tennessee that lost their children mm-hmm. just days before the holiday. I cannot imagine the pain. I cannot imagine the grief. Comfort them, Heavenly Father. Let the community, not just the ones that know them, but allow the community to come around these families and comfort them. Let the churches come around them and put their arms around them and comfort them now, Lord, in the midst of this thing. They are planning funerals, Heavenly Father. I cannot imagine the thought processes. Keep their minds, Lord. Keep their minds intact in the midst of this grief, Heavenly Father. Cover them. Anoint them. And all the other children who are still in the hospital, Lord, this holiday season, heal their bodies, heal their little bodies and bring them back so that they can be with the rest of their schoolmates, Lord. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you this morning. I want to thank you because I had a harrowing experience yesterday, but you brought me home safely and carefully. You covered me, Lord, that I, there was no hurt, harm, or danger to me, the vehicle, or anybody else. I thank you this morning for your blessings. I thank you this morning for your mercy. There is none like you. Heavenly Father, other people may call out a name here or there, but we call out the name Jesus because there There is none like you. You said in everything that we do, word or deed, give thanks to you through Christ Jesus, Heavenly Father. So we bless your name, the Father, but we call it through the name Jesus. And again, Lord, I ask blessings on those on this line. In Jesus' name, amen. And then anybody want to come in and pray? Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we just thank you for all the prayers that's gone forth yes. so far. We thank you for our life, Lord. Yes. We know, Lord Jesus, that we do not grieve as those without God. Amen. But we do also know that although when we leave here to be absent from the flesh is to be present with the Lord, we also know to be here in the flesh, it is that we may live to declare the works of the Lord. So let us be cognizant. And let us mark our days. Let us ask for you to order our footsteps. Let us also be diligent to hear and to obey. Let us walk closely with you, Lord, since it is your breath, breathing your breath of life in us. 
to be bold and courageous enough to once you've given us the instruction to shut down every voice opposing what you have called us to do to steward our lives for your glory, no matter who they are, and let us be boldly to go forth and do what you've called here to do called us to do here so that we can make a difference in this earth because you are the balm of Gilead and the gift and the good treasure of God that is within us that we received on receiving you as Christ. And as you stir up that gift, let us be courageous if we have to walk alone to do what you called us to do. It has everything to do with the manifestation of your time. It has everything to do with the system our lives and the lives of those who are not even saved are depending on the excellency of the Father, the treasure that's within us. That is the economic system that is superimposed over this worldly economic system. Lord, the government is upon your shoulders. We are your shoulders. Just like in the Old Testament, the high priest had the stones on the breastplate that represented the 12 stones of the 12 tribes of Israel. And we are in Christ, Lord, and there's no more Jew and Gentile. We are the government that's upon your shoulders. Let us stop acting like cowards in the Lord and let us be bold enough to every time constant conversation, repetitive conversation where we could be decreeing and declaring is the same constant conversation about, oh, this is happening and all oh, that is happening. Let us be bold enough to speak your word because we create the world. Let us be like Daniel. Daniel is not just a figment of our imagination, a character in the Old Testament. That is a type of how we are the, of the remnant are supposed to be. Let us know without a shadow of doubt the power of life and death is in this tongue. So let us speak your words of life constantly, constantly. And then let us boldly walk every day, knowing the grace and life you put in us is to glorify you. We love you because we know that the kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, as we diligently, effectually, and fervently pray, thy kingdom come today in our lives and in the lives of our world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, amen. Thank you so much for that. Amen. Anybody else want to chime in and pray? Mm -hmm. We do this every Friday. People come together. We do group prayer, prayer requests. So if anybody needs a prayer request, we'll be happy to pray for you. And thank you for listening in uh, every Friday. Even the ones I've I've, uh, messaged somebody on Facebook and they say they call in Every Friday, they just don't say their name. So if you're on here, thank you once again for being dedicated and loyal to God by calling in and, 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 you know, being covered in prayer. We just want to thank you. Because it ain't about us, it's about God. We just come on here. We, God is just using us as instruments in order to use his name. So in order to be the, you know, and put him first. So I just want to thank you all for calling in. And if nobody has no prayer, we'll just go ahead. I'll just uh, leave leave this phone line in prayer. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Trina. I just wanted to say thank you again for your words of wisdom and of power and that we must walk in the power that he has given us. We are not in defeat. And I, I just want to let you know you've encouraged me today to begin to encourage those others when I hear the words of defeat, to encourage them. The Bible says that we are to strengthen the hands that have fallen down or or downcast. We're supposed to come along, our brothers and our sisters. And so, therefore, thank you for that reminder today that we must go out and encourage one another to not give up, not feel as if we are lost. We are the winning team here, people. We are the people who are going to win in the end. As they said, have you read the end of the book? We win. So in the mighty name, I thank you for that this morning, that encouragement. Amen. But Sister Judy, that was Sister Dawn. Oh, that was Sister Dawn. Okay, thank you, Sister Dawn, Dawn, with that prayer. And and, and the thing is just, you know, God God is is up to something. And all we gotta do is continue doing what we're doing. And, And and whatever however it looks like, we cannot give up. 
because we know as we walk with the Lord that we, we will be victorious. He's going to give us, you know, when he gives us vision, he gives us provision. Yes, he does. But, it, but it's up to us to keep on moving. And just like we said, just like he said, works, <clears throat> we have to work, you understand, and we have to believe, right. you know, and just keep on doing it. Every Saturday morning, well, we go out um, soul winning. Um, the first, we, this, is, this will be our third Saturday. The first time we went out, a young lady got saved. Mm. The second time we went out, a young man got saved. It, God is truly up to something. Yes, he is. And, 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 I, and I just him. pray that more and more people get saved and more and more people come on the line because a lot of people are church hurt. They don't come. They don't go to church. Um, for some reason, they're hurt, and these lines are great for them because after they start hearing the word, and then they'll start going into the four walls. You know, but this is a great thing, this prayer line that y'all have. It is truly a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you have to continue doing what y'all doing. Also, uh, this is recorded, so it goes on social media. So, you know, social media is very negative if you don't, uh, you know, apply your life to God. So just let them know what y'all are doing um, in the community. Yes, you know, well, uh, and, you know. mm-hmm. well uh, the line that um, God gave me a vision, and it's called the Jesus line. He gave me this vision because so many people are church hurt, and they don't go into the four walls. So God gave me this vision to have the Jesus line. The Jesus line is every Monday and Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m., and you hear the word of God. You, you can have prayer, you give your testimonies, and then after that, the man or woman of God will bring forth the word. And on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock, we have Bible study on the Jesus line. And the phone number is 515-739-1030, and the, the PIN number is 703-307-721. And then on Saturday mornings, if anybody is in the Salisbury area, we go we go out soul winning, and we go out soul winning at ten o'clock a.m. and to win souls. And the purpose of the Jesus Lot is to win souls. It's for salvation. Yeah. And see, people have to know that you can't go to God without going through Jesus. That's right. But you have to be saved in order to go to heaven. But, you know, he gives us a choice, and it's our choice to do what we want to do. So we choose our eternity. So it's up to you if you want to spend eternity in hell or heaven. And the best thing I, I love about God is that God forgives us. He, he forgives us for everything that we do, and all we have to do is repent, and he forgives us. And he said, come as you are. He's not talking about the clothes you wear. He's talking about with all your baggage, with all your sins, because nobody's perfect. We all fall short. Nobody's perfect. But he wants you to come as you are. And that's all you have to do. Come with all your sins and let the Holy Spirit clean you up. Because when I tell you that if, if I was still waiting for me to be clean up, I still wouldn't be there. Mm. Right. That's I still wouldn't mm. be there. But you, I'm telling you, I still wouldn't be there. I have to repent. He said in the in his word, we have to repent daily, because even the thoughts in your head, that's a sin. Mm. You know. So the thing is this: that we all fall short, but come to him. And when I tell you, when you come to him, that'd be the best thing that you ever did. And we're still going to have our trials and tribulations. It tells you that we're going to have trials and tribulations. But this time you'll have your trials and tribulations with God on your side. Because he's walking with you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. <clears throat> yes, he is. I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Only Christ is the reason we stand. Only Christ is the reason we get up. It's yes. Christ the reason we move forward and have 
the ability to speak into the lives of other people. It is Christ, not us of ourselves. We we sin daily. We fall daily. We fail no. daily. But if it is not for the grace that was purchased by the shedding of his blood, we, we've got to remember that it is grace that <coughs> makes us children of the most high. Yes, yes. It is grace. Yes. Yes. It's not something we do. All we can bring is our faith. That's all we can bring. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. But he said, bring what? Faith as a mustard seed. Yes. He didn't say it has to be big. big. Jesus is so small. He said, faith as a mustard Mm. seed, and you'll move mountains. I thank Mm -hmm. you, ladies, for what you're doing going out with the soul winning. I haven't heard soul winning walks in so long. So Mm. I thank you for going old school and taking them out one by one. I thank you for that. That just moved my spirit. Mm. Thank you for that. And and, and I I have to say something to you all because, you know, I, I, when I first met you, when when I first met y'all, I'm telling you, your spirit, we connected so well. And the reason why we connected so well is because y'all are real. Y'all are not holy as thou. Y'all don't act like, you know, that you can't do this and you can't do that, that you could still have fun in the Lord. Amen. You can still have fun in the Lord. And, and, and there's so many people, they, they stray away because so many people think that, oh, well, you can't do this and you can't do that. But you can. It doesn't say in, in, in his word that you can't. Mm-hmm. You know, and, 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 and that's how people get scared. But people look at us and they say, wow, I can see the God in them. I could see the God. I could see the God in them. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Mm. So continue doing what y'all doing. Thank you. Continue doing what you're doing. And I don't care what nobody say. It's not about man. It's about God. Right. See, who do we listen to, man or God? See, man, <clears throat> man always has something to say. Always have something to say to try to pull you down. You mm. understand? But continue doing what you're doing. Continue doing what you're doing because it's truly a blessing. And when I see that light in you all, in both of you. Thank you so much for that. Amen. Thank you for that. We're really blessed to have you on the line. We're really we blessed, blessed to have you supporting what we're trying to do for the Lord or what we're doing for the Lord. You know, I know it's hard out here, especially dealing with the world, with politics and, you know, the economy and, you know, jobs. So, it's, you know, all these distractions that uh, the enemy is putting in front of everybody in order for them not to draw close to the Lord. But, you know, the Lord uses people like us, you know, our ministry, your ministry, uh, stolen lunches, um, you know, and, and design daughters. That's another. Yeah, design daughters. You know, all of all of these ministries that's going about, you know, online and, and in the streets. That's you know making a difference to people's lives. You know, they come in our lives. They see positive energy. They see a lot of spiritual energy. They see what we're doing. So you know, I just want to thank you, and you help that. Y'all help that with your support. Um, you know, I couldn't thank you anymore. So, you know, I pray that I see y'all next week. We have a good time. You know, the, the people that never would have thought that they were in the building, we pray that they be in the building just to see what we're doing, not only yeah. in the community, but all across the world. So, yeah. you know, just of us in prayer for next uh, Saturday to all red party. Because I'm going to be scared. I'm telling you, I'm going to be scared. <laughs> yes, I got to <laughs> next uh, Friday from 7 to 7, so I'm going to get up that morning. We got a taping December 3rd that morning for the Married Edition uh, documentary. And then we're ready to party, you know, so um, we're going to party the godly way. But, you know, That's right. I'm kind of scared, so I need y'all to come here. <clears throat> And shared his old country term for tired. <laughs> but um, 
Well, go ahead and uh, close in prayer if you'd like to close in prayer. Say. Yes, if anybody else doesn't have anything else they'd like to say. Anybody want to pray? Joanne, you want to pray? Okay, hold on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the prayers that go on forth. We know you already heard us, Lord. So we thank you, as you said, when you hung on the cross, it is finished. So let us go about rejoicing. That's the next step, Lord. Let us rejoice. We've already came before you, and what we lay before you, Lord Jesus, we know that you've heard it. So we just love you, and we bless you, and we just ask that you continue to lead us forward in the ministries spoken of. We're excited about the things to come, and we just bless your holy name, and we thank you for the angels that are going before us. We thank you for your protection, and we just... We just bless the people on the line, all of the ministries that they've spoken about, and we're just excited. We thank you for expansion. We know your kingdom is expanding. So thank you for using us, and thank you for the souls that's coming this week, that you will be winning, that you will be drawn to you for divine provision. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your name. Amen. 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 We'll close. Thank you all for uh, calling in once again. And just remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Amen. Amen. Love you, Amen. God loves you more. Trina and Don loves you, but God loves you more. Amen. Be blessed. Be uh, safe over the weekend, everyone. Thank you, Stanley. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. She, 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 used, her, she used her home for her. Oh, my cousin, she just, she caught me.